We are going to have next a student who's going to talk about her experience as one of our uh, Cultural Vistas Fellows. She, was in, she is a junior at Susquehanna University. She was in Hong Kong on her internship. And, and I'm gonna, no further ado, Malia, uh, Malia Simon, if you can come to the stage. Yat e she e Malia Simon inishye tora chini e nishle nathlana e bashish chini ma i deskishni e dasha che nathlana e dasha nele. Hello, my name is Malia Simon. I am Bitterwater Clan, born for the Sasituan Wapetuan Oyate Dakota Sioux. My maternal grandfather's clan is Coyote Pass, and my paternal grandfather's clan is also Dakota Sioux. My mother is Navajo, and my father is Dakota. And I will be speaking in my Diné, my Navajo language, this evening. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> December 20th, 2018. Up to that point, I was nervous, scared, and anxious as I waited to hear the good, sweet news I wanted to hear. On that day, I received the email that I was awarded the 2019 Cultural Vistas Fellowship to Hong Kong. Hands shaking with excitement, I dialed my Shema, my mother, and told her the greatest news I've ever told her. Mom, I'm going to Hong Kong. Together in that moment, we both cried and shared tears of joy. When I left Dineta and my family for a city across the world, my head could not comprehend its entirety. The summer I spent in Hong Kong shaped my future aspirations in life to impact those around me through my story as an indigenous woman who was climbing the ladder of education with international and immersional life experiences. When my eyes locked onto the skyline of skyscrapers bigger than life, I felt overwhelmed and happy with emotions. In the span of five days, I went from dusting off dirt on my clothes to experiencing a new tropical egg climate for the first time. The entrancing neon lights, the freshly steamed pork and vegetable dumplings, the hot, humid air hitting my face, felt all so real and dreamy. Living abroad, I learned that the world is so vast, crazy, beautiful, scary, thrilling, and real. When you experience a new culture different from the life you grew up in, it can be hard to process and get comfortable in at first. Let me paint you a brief image of what my culture is like. Living in a small border town on the edge of the Navajo Nation is my comfort and it's a place that I know like the back of my hand and it's a place where my heart will always be. Back home, I see people who look like me. I can smell the freshly made burritos waiting to be bought on the side of the road <laughs> and my red slang kicks right back in. But when you take a half res, half urban native and place her on the other side of the world, you get a few different experiences to share that are all exciting and thrilling to share. In Hong Kong, I learned the importance of the power of stories and how using your voice and truly chasing the dreams you seek your whole lifetime will take you places you can never imagine. As a visitor, I had the chance to engage and gain relationships with Hong Kongers I worked and learned with at my internship, Carbon Care Eno Lab. Their unique stories are examples of strength I still carry with me today. Their utmost dedication to resolving and mitigating the climate crisis inspires me to continue the path I am on because change doesn't end with one person. It is passed along with diligence and care to the next global citizen inspired to create change. 
Like the traditions, stories, and dreams passed along down the matriarchal family line in my Navajo culture, I realize my role as a Native woman who has gained an international experience to encourage and mentor other Native youth to truly chase the dreams they seek their whole life, like I did. On the last day of my internship, I made the decision to dress up in my traditional Diné attire for the last time. Um, it was in those moments when I was walking in Hong Kong, I truly felt happy and excited to be there. And walking one by one with one moccasin on the other, I, it was a truly life altering moment for me to realize that I went across the world and made my ancestors happy. This fellowship experience wasn't just for me. It was for a whole, fam a whole family and a whole community of Native people across the United States that are rooting and cheering for me. I know that I carry their dreams uh, for their communities and for mine on my shoulders, and it, it is with this task I'm the happiest to carry for the rest of my life. The feelings that moved me during my time in Hong Kong was where I thought of another life goal dream of mine that I want to pursue. One day, I want to run for Congress and represent my Diné and Dakota people. <laughs> August 8th, 2019. I am whole and full of so much hope as I venture into the world of endless possibilities. My first day back on campus, I was stunned that I experienced my first international ex internship across the world and my first internship in general. I gained the strength to continue the fight for clean water and, wa and treaty rights and to continue effectively creating policies to protect my homeland. And I saw landscapes and cultures so beautiful, it brought me to tears. There is no doubt that this summer experience will stick with me for my whole life, and this international experience added a layer of complexity in my life that will forever be ingrained in me. At the end of every day, no matter where life takes me, I think of the wise words my uncle used to say to me. Don't forget where you come from, Malia. And he's right, I am where I come from. Though I've had the privilege to live and intern outside of the United States, I walk in my life remembering my people and their strength. As a global citizen, I feel ready to prevail in my studies, professional field, and personal journey as I strive for my aspirations to do my part in Indian country and protect Turtle Island for generations to come. I would like to welcome this evening's new donors to this international community that is supporting truly life-altering work. By joining us here this evening, you haven't just purchased a ticket or a table. You have made it possible for more students like myself to seize an opportunity that wouldn't have otherwise been possible. You have my deepest gratitude. Thank you.